Lauren. Well, her uh, sister disowned her on the street. How would you feel? I think all I need is a chance, you know, sit both down. Work it through. Yeah, well, I think you missed the boat on that one. What's this? Lauren needs a few extra bits and bobs. Well, I thought I'd brought over loads of stuff beginning of the week. <sighs> Lauren's decided that she wants to go into foster care. Just until the trial. Look, I can't help thinking a change of scenery we would do her good. Well, if you want to say no, Jane, all right, just say no. At least we know where we stand. Lucy told me what happened between Abby and Lauren yesterday. Yes, yeah, so? So moving across the square isn't going to solve anything. Jane, come on. Look, Lauren, seeing you day in, day out, within touching distance, even worse from telling you it's home, maybe she'd just save them both the pain. Yeah, well, Tanya's going to do her nut, is she? She finds out she's been looked after by a complete stranger. Right, love, if you want me, I'm going to be at home cooking the books. I have to discuss it with Ian. Discuss what? <sighs> Lauren needs somewhere to stay. So? She's going to care otherwise, Ian. Love, it's not our problem. Oh, excuse me. I mean, most people use a front door. Front door, back door, who cares? And all, all that matters is my daughter. Max, you've already told you it's not our problem. Yeah, we ain't bosom pals, all right? We ain't never going to be, are we? Chalk and cheese, you both know that. But you and me, we, we, we've got more in common than you think. Really? Yeah, we try and be the best dads we can. You know, sometimes the best ain't good enough. Look, having Peter and Laura under the same roof is a recipe for disaster. Well, so what? What are you going to tell Peter? How do you think he's going to feel, Ian, when he finds out you wouldn't take her in? I don't mean you're in any position to tell me how to be a parent. No, no, you're right. I'm sorry, all right? Fair enough, Ian, all right? Hands up. You're a top family man. I can't touch you when that's concerned. What? I'm not sounding perfect. A successful businessman, Chibi, Kef. Yeah, yeah, outside Caitlin as well. But the point is, you'd sacrifice your whole lot for your wife and kids. Well, yeah, yeah, it goes without saying. Yeah, you know what matters. Me, I'm only just trying to make those connections. My daughter's five minutes away from leaving. There's nothing I can do to stop her in, but you can. Just give me a chance to measure up. Hiya. Burns your CD. And I want it on record that I did not choose McFly. Peter reckoned you liked them. So it's Peter? Yeah, I found his number somewhere. Did he say anything about what's happening and stuff? Not much, so I guess you'll have to ask him for yourself. Call him between six and seven. He'll be waiting by the phone. Thanks. McFly? That is so lame. You're lame. That's him. Get back to school for afternoon registration. See you later. See you. Look, Lauren. We've been over this. I really don't think you thought this through properly. I haven't thought about anything else. Well, there's nothing I can say, mate. Change your mind. Shut your mum in there. Ian said you can stay with him. Excuse me, give me that, please. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> she wants to go, Max. Lauren. Lauren, don't do this, please. Lee, you can stay with Ian and Jane, all right? Lauren! Lauren, please! Lauren! 